Hi, this is CADCAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to make this kind of part in FreeCAD. And FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system, that is, it is a system in which we can create our own 3D models. And FreeCAD can be used both as a hobbyist and commercially. We can even use this system for creating paid projects. If you want to learn more about working in FreeCAD and you want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system step by step, you can take part in my FreeCAD 3D modeling basic training course. The link to which is in the description of this video. Now we will move on to designing such a part. I'm going to create a new project and here at the beginning in the part design module I'm going to create an auxiliary sketch on the XY plane and draw a rectangle. Actually it's going to be a square with a side of 160 millimeters. OK. And that's going to be an auxiliary sketch because now in the part module I'm going to create a cube. And it's going to be a cube of 160 by 5 by 3 millimeters. And now I'd like to add more copies of this part so that they fill this square and I'll do that in the draft module. I'll turn off the visibility of this plane so that it doesn't obscure the view and now I'm going to add the linear array of this solid and here we are working in the Y direction. In the X direction we will leave one element and in the Y direction I'll type here 20 and spacing in the Y axis 10 millimeters. Click OK and we have created something like this. Here I see that there are three elements too many. I don't need them, so I change the number of elements to 17. OK, actually I won't need this one either, so we leave 16 elements. OK, and we have something like this. And now we need to create some geometry to get the center of this solid and we will do it in such a way that we will draw a circle whose center will be at point 80, 80, 0. Click enter point and now specify the radius of this circle. We can do this by clicking or we can simply enter the radius value here. When I type the radius value here and move the cursor, this radius change. So here I type 55 millimeters and press enter to create this circle. And OK, we have a circle created and now we will create a rectangle. Choose to draw a rectangle and place the first corner of the rectangle at this point. And draw a rectangle more or less like this. OK, we have two geometries, a circle and a rectangle. And now select the rectangle. Then with the control key select the circle. And here expand this menu and select downgrade so that we cut the circle from this rectangle. The downgrade command is also in the modification menu. OK, and here we have this geometry. And now go to the part module. And based on this geometry, we add an extrusion for 3 millimeters. And now we subtract this solid from this solid. That is, with the control key, first select the linear array of these parts. Then select this square with the hole and choose the command to subtract one solid from the other. And here, as you can see, the model is gone, but the model needs to be refreshed. Therefore, we click this button and we have something like this. Then return to the draft module. And now we are going to create two circles and just at the beginning switch to the top view and choose draw circle and create the first circle the center of which is at point x80, y80, z0 and enter the radius of this circle 55 millimeters. Here if you 
don't enter a good radius, we can change this radius at any time. Now create a second circle, the center also x80, y80 and the radius of this circle 80 millimeters. Here I will draw this circle more or less like this and now here we can enter the value of the radius 80 and the value of the radius will be adjusted. And now as before we subtract the smaller circle from the large circle that is select with the control key these two circles and from the modification menu select the downgrade command so that we cut out this center and now go to the part module and based on this geometry let's add a three millimeters extrusion okay and we already have such a solid i'll turn off the visibility of this solid now select shape builder and select wire from edges and select this edge and choose create click close to exit this command and i'll turn off the visibility of this solid and here we have this sketch i select this geometry i go to the part menu and i select to the offset here and here i type three millimeters as offset and i select fill offset Okay, and now based on this geometry, I add an extrusion of 10 millimeters. And now I turn on the visibility of this solid and the visibility of this solid and turn off the visibility of this sketch. And here note that each of these parts is a single part. However, if we try to connect these parts together, there are some strange error. And at this point, I don't know what this is due to, but this is the part I wanted to design for 3D printing. So I'm going to try to just export this to an STL file. I choose File, Export, enter a name and choose the STL file format, click Save. And now I go to Prusa Slicer and in Prusa Slicer it looks good and I can prepare the print based on this file. At this point I don't know why it didn't make it into one part in FreeCAD, but the purpose of this project was to prepare a 3D print of such a part. And having this file in Prusa Slicer this is imported as one single file and I can make a program for a 3D printer based on this file and I can prepare a 3D print based on this. Sometimes in FreeCAD such situations can occur. Here while preparing for this lesson I prepared such a solid and here I was able to put it all together as one single part. It is one single part but in this case I was not able to add the individual parts of this model to each other. But I was able to save this to STL format and based on this design I can prepare a 3D print. And that's all for today and if you want to learn more about working with FreeCAD then you can take part in my FreeCAD training course, the link to which is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.